The Brantley B-2 is an American two-seat light helicopter created to make private helicopter ownership practical. Its story begins with inventor Newby Brantley, whose first helicopter, the B-1 of 1946, used coaxial rotors. The B-1 flew successfully but proved heavy, complex, and expensive for private pilots. Brantley took the lessons from that failure and began designing a simpler helicopter using a single main rotor and tail rotor. The first Brantley B-2 prototype flew on February 21, 1953, followed by an improved second prototype on August 14, 1956. Early testing exposed issues such as cooling arrangements, landing gear configuration, and control ergonomics, which were gradually redesigned. The company moved production to Frederick, Oklahoma, and in 1959, the B-2 received FAA-type certificate 2H2. By 1961, the hundredth aircraft had been delivered. The B-2 used an unusual engineering approach. Its all-metal semi-monocoque fuselage had a distinctive teardrop cabin capped by a plexiglass dome, earning the nickname Flying Ice Cream Cone. The three-bladed articulated main rotor became its defining feature. Two sets of flapping hinges and carefully positioned lag hinges allowed the outer blade sections to absorb oscillating loads internally rather than passing unwanted vibration into the airframe. The result was smooth handling and precise control. Production models were generally powered by a vertical-mounted Lycoming VO360 engine producing 180 horsepower. The helicopter could operate with skid, wheel, or float landing gear. At maximum weight, it cruised around 145-155 km per hour, approximately 90 to 96 miles per hour, climbed efficiently, and offered a range of roughly 400 km, about 250 miles. Its rotor brake, low mast height, and wide skid track reflected the strong emphasis on safety for private pilots and training environments. In 1958, the United States Army evaluated five B-2s under the designation YH-03. Although considered too small for military requirements, the testing validated the helicopter's reliability. Civil markets proved stronger. The B-2 went into regular production in 1958, evolving into the B-2A and the improved B-2B with a refined cabin and upgraded engine. A larger five-seat derivative, the Brantley 305, appeared later but achieved only modest commercial success. Ownership of the company changed several times. Under Brantley Hines in the 1970s, production continued and support remained available for earlier aircraft. About 500 helicopters across the B-2 family were eventually built and exported worldwide. Many were used for aerial photography, pilot training, farm spraying, and private transport. Some aircraft served unusual roles, including an unmanned target drone variant the United States Army operated in the 1980s. The design continued to influence later projects. A partnership with Qingdao Haili in China eventually produced the unmanned V-750, showing how Brantley's rotor system adapted to new aviation needs. Today, numerous B-2s still fly in private hands in museums. Their longevity reflects the helicopter's core philosophy, mechanical simplicity, innovative rotor engineering, and accessible flying characteristics. From its 1953 prototype to modern adaptations, the Brantley B-2 remains one of the earliest successful personal helicopters and a durable symbol of post-war rotorcraft innovation.